guys, I got a special present for a special racer. Well, ladies and gentlemen, he is the gangster. He's got one mean KZ1000. Turned on a lot of wind lights. And what I really love, Ronnie Woodall Sr., is you're turning on the wind light against cancer, man. You're doing a great job fighting valiantly. We're all praying for you, brother, and I got something for you. You're the man. Team Cycle Drag, uh, I would say with your warrior spirit, love it. you've earned yourself that shirt. Love it. Thank you, brother. You got it, man. That That's That one's on me. Me, Keep fighting for us, all right? Take cancer to the stripe, beat it down. Appreciate it. Y'all tune in. He's the best. They call him the gangster for good reason. Ronnie Woodall Sr. So good to see you, man. Yes, sir. Good to see you. One of the cleanest, if not the cleanest, 1978 KZ1000 drag bikes I have ever seen. Please. Give me a tour of this fine motorcycle. Well, I bought this bike from Ray Mancini back in 08, and it was kind of rough, but I was just wanting something I could run super comp on. And uh, so I bought it, and then I, it, it just wasn't me. So I pretty much changed everything on it, motor, front end, all electronics. I run an MC4 ignition system on it, and uh, it has a... Uh, a uh, MPS air throttle stop controller. This motor here is actually a 14 and a quarter that Ray Mancini built for me from Extreme Motorsports. RC wheels and uh, PMFR front end. Wow. Uh, stock stock cradle? The front cradle is from that back is all is all different. It's an eight plug head. It's not a four plug head. Okay. And how many years have you been racing? I started racing at nine. How many wins do you think you got? I know I've got 245 wins. 245 event wins. How many championships? Six championships. Okay, so everybody's going to be paying very close attention now. What is your secret to success? What advice would you give an aspiring champion? Stay with it. You're going to have bad days. You're going to have good days. But if you if you can't take the bad, then this is not a game that you want to play. Take me through your burnout procedure. When you line up there and you roll into the water, what are you doing? you call a roundy round transmission in this motor. This motor here, when I pull out there, I'm in neutral. So I push it down one time and I'm in fifth gear and that's where I do my burnout in fifth gear. And then when I roll it up, all I have to do is pull it up one time into neutral and one more time into first gear. So my transmission goes one, two, three, four, five, neutral, one, two, three, four, five. It goes around and around. So that's a little bit different in all of my bikes. I do fifth gear burnout, so that way I just gotta click it down one time and go. Take me through your starting line procedure. You roll into stage, what's going through your mind? What are you doing? Don't forget to turn the auto shifter on and just try to stage in enough to where you don't roll backwards. And uh, you know, because if you if you just barely bump in and you let off that button and wiggle that handlebar a little bit, you'll go red and you'll still be set to speed. So it's, your consistency is mind-boggling. The fact that you're just able to drill double O, double O. How do you stay so consistent? Well, you know, it comes and goes. I'm not always double O. I wasn't, all, I wasn't double O this morning. I was 04, but then I come back with 30, and these guys sent me back. You know. <laughs> there, there's some tough customers out yes, here. Sir. Well, i got to ask you this, too. We're seeing Boosas, 14s, Jixers. What keeps you sticking with the old school? I still win. Very true. Very true. I mean, you're proving, you're proving your case here. Do you believe for the average person, old school is still competitive with these, these new bikes? They're still competitive, but that's not the way to go. If you're starting out, then you won't start out with the new boost and stuff and all. You just, you know, they're just like these new street bike guys. I've got this built motor and these street bikes, when we get in a quarter mile, we get on the other end and they got more mile an hour than I do. You know, so that's the way to go. That's, that's, you know, and a lot of them's got them now where you can ride them back. Well, I can't ride back. I got to be pushed, you know. But now these guys are faster than me, and they're riding their bikes back. That's right. It's so, convenient. Yeah, but at, at 62 years old, I've got what I've got. You know, so if I was 22 years old, I'd sell everything, and I'd go that way. Well, you know? 
as good as... My stuff looks better than him anyway. That's what I was going to say. I mean, I love the Busa. I have a Busa. I've seen a million Busas. There's a reason I'm doing a video on you right now because right. this bike will stop somebody in their tracks. Yes, it is amazing. Love the old school. Mine's a 77. Yeah. Love the KZ1000. This one, again, a 78. Really beautiful. Uh, it's just, it's gorgeous. What are some of the comments you get? I get a lot of them. People like them, man. You know, they're old school. A lot of the older guys like them, you know. I, I'm just watching your videos, and when the thing comes out on the track, the lights that it gets, you know. But it's a handful. We call that thing the gangster for a reason. Oh, so the bike's the gangster, you're not the no, gangster. No, I'm not. Because I call you the gangster. I, know, I think you're pretty everybody gangster. Everybody does, but I'm telling you, this thing is the gangster. You know, my top gas bike's so much faster, but it's easy to ride. This thing right here, man, sometimes, you know, it gets its own mind. <laughs> I'm air throttle stopping, and, and I had three seconds of air stopping at this morning, and I'm still running 146 mile an hour. Amazing. So Amazing. True family affair for you. How much does it mean that your son's out here racing with the you? The bike that he's riding is the bike I started. And I raced that bike. I won AMA Pro Star I remember championships that. with yes. that bike. I remember that. You know, so that bike has been his family. So you crossed the picket line though. You went from Suzuki GS to Kawasaki KZ. Are you kind of like me? You're not really brand loyal to anybody. You just love motorcycles? No, no I got a Harley at home. I'm the same Honda way. at home, you know. It's got uh, two wheels. We like it. Yeah, yeah. But I like this old bike now. This bike's fun. You know, it's a lot of fun. You know, my top gas bike, you know, you let off the button. It goes down through there, man. You just set on it. This right here, you have to ride this bike. If you don't ride it, it'll let you know why they call it the gangster. I love it. about here on a serious note we know you have been valiantly battling cancer you've been doing a great job bring me up the speed on that and and what it's been like continuing to race through this process well if i'd have listened to the doctors in 2018 i wouldn't be racing because they wanted me to do chemo they wanted me to do radiation and i said well how much longer they give me a 30 percent chance to make it five years and that was in October of 18. I'm still out here racing. I would not be here. You know, if I told him, I said, what, what's, what's going to be the difference if I do all of this poison and if I don't? He said, maybe six months. I said, well, if I do that and I've just got six months, I said, the time that I've got left, am I going to be sick from the medicine all the time? And he said, yes. So I said, hey, I'm going racing. You know, and it's all in God's hands. You know, them doctors can just do so much. But I got a good wife. I married my wife when I was 17 years old. And I'm still with her. So, you know, I've got support. i got good support. And I'm going to keep doing this as long as I can. I'm not quitting. God bless you, my you know, friend. I'm not we're, quitting. we're rooting for you out there. Those doctors are going to be wrong. I think you're going to be here about 20, 25 years from now. You might outlive me the way you cut these lights out here. Man, I've Jackson. had a good life. Whatever the good old man upstairs got for me, that's it. I've had a good life. I have no complaints with my life. Your positivity is just humbling. You know, Again, I'm, congratulations. I'm a happy man. Guys, give him a share. This Kawasaki's worth a share. His inspirational story is worth a share. They call him the gangster for good reason. Congratulations. Thanks. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Perfect. They make an old man look good, huh? 
You're looking like you're ready to go win a race. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Represent. Thank you, Jack.